Hey and what's up everybody, it's Peter and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how they made the reverse tenet effect. In Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, legally and not cracked. The complicated part here is to jump between time directions within just one frame. So it's not just a usual reversing a clip thing. But how is it that we cut between forwards time and reverse time seamlessly? Is it even possible to jump cut between cause leads to effect and effect leads to cause? Step number one, the shoot. Just put your camera on a tripod and film something. It would make sense to get a shot where it's obvious to see that the time is played back backwards. In my case, I filmed two clips. Me knocking over the bolts. The second clip is me with the clock in the hand turning back the time. Because we are working with masks, we can easily see the change in exposure. So it's very important that the lighting situation stays the same. Now you can import both clips in your editing software and lay them on top of each other. Clip A and Clip B. Select clip A and click on the free draw bezier icon to create a mask. Make a rough mask in between the oats and you. Make sure that the action of one clip is not overlapping with the action of the other one. Now you can fade the mask to blend the clips together nicely. Now you have to get the timing right. It would make sense to time the reaction of both clips in a way that it makes sense for the viewer. For this part you have to be patient. Speed up or slow down the clips as long as you get the timing right. Again, it works best if you already take care of the timing while you're shooting. One further tip is to film it in slow motion, so you have more possibilities to adjust the timing and it also looks a little bit cooler. After you adjusted the timing, cut clip A, so the clip with the oats, at a point where the oats already spilled on the table. Take this piece and reverse it. Jump to the point where you begin to start turning back the time. Then align the clip you just reversed so it fits your movement on the clock. It might be that you have to cut out a chunk in the middle so the reverse section starts a little bit quicker. Now we still have the second hand in the frame. I removed the hand by just making a mask around it so a clean plate underneath shines through. To sell the technique even more, put a camera shake on top so it looks like somebody's holding the camera. You can do that either by just creating keyframes or with After Effects. And then the most important step, and I can't tell you how important it is, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and then I'm gonna see you next time with another useless but quickly explained tutorial which steals some more time of your miserable and unimportant life. Ooh.